We're back for some more favorite Sporkle quizzes. You want to have me do a quiz? Twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. I'll, to, uh, I'll try to have the link below for the uh, for the quiz if you guys want to do it as well. And let's go ahead and look for a quiz to do. You guys, of course, already know what the answer is. And I want to do something that NFL, of course. So we're going to find a quiz that looks interesting. And I feel like we do a lot of quarterback stuff. I don't love QB stuff. So, eh, I don't know why they have long big four teams and they have a picture of long shot for Matt with Devin Wade and Colt Cruz. Can we not? Um, Bullseye Blitz? That doesn't feel... I don't like that one very much. I'm going to I'm gonna cut here. We're going we're gonna to find a quiz that looks good and then we're just going to start. We're going we're gonna to try it. Since the 1980 NFL season... Can you name the 19 players with 1,000-plus receiving yards in single season who accounted for 40% or more of their team's total receiving yards? Three players did it twice. So, um, you got 22 to name, seven minutes to do it in. You know, I think it is possible, but I am going to miss a fair few. I can guarantee you that. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So, it gives you the breakdown of who, you know, is in here, and a lot of them are 90s receivers. We're going to do the best that we can. Starting out with the Chicago Bears. I'm going to try Brandon Marshall. There he is. Brandon Marshall. Carolina. Moosin Muhammad. Well, that's embarrassing. Carolina. Steve Smith. Oh, easy. My bad. He's on here a lot. We also have Jimmy Smith with the Jags. We have Steve Smith again with the Carolina Panthers. And then Rod Smith with the Denver Broncos. Honestly, I probably would have forgotten about Rod Smith. With the Denver Broncos, I might have, like... I I know he's, like, a great player. I probably would have guessed, like, Javon Walker for that, even though that makes no sense before I would have gotten Rod Smith. But with the Washington Redskins, is that Art Monk? He is with the Washington Redskins for 40%, but he's not near the top. I wish... I don't like the way this is listed, by the way. I wish the top would have been over on the right side for some reason. But Art Monk is on there. So that's the sole receiver in the 80s. Washington. It would have been more recent then. Let's try Santana Moss. It is Santana Moss. Arizona. It's got to be Larry Fitzgerald, right? It could be David Boston. So it is going to be David Boston. Not Larry Fitzgerald. What about Pittsburgh? Uh, Santonio Holmes. I don't really like this guess. It's probably Heinz Ward. I don't know why I typed Holmes, but it's not Heinz Ward either. Oh, it's Antonio Brown. It's not Antonio Brown. Who is a dominant Steelers receiver? Uh, not Heinz Ward. Santonio Holmes, it never would have been. I, I, I really can't believe that it would have been. Would it be Plaxico Burrs? It's not Plaxico. We'll come back to it. St. Louis. This is a weird one because they had Torrey Holt and Isaac Bruce. I'm going to go with both of them and see if either are the answer. They might not be. So there's Torrey Holt. There's Isaac Bruce. So Isaac Bruce is on there twice, actually. In 95 and in 96. What about the Dallas Cowboys? What are the odds it's Des Bryant? Uh, low. Jason Witten, probably not. Miles Austin, almost certainly not. It's going to be Michael Irvin. There we go. He's on there twice. I, I don't know why I blanked on him. Not having the years is kind of annoying. And I really... Pittsburgh. Could it be a 90s receiver? Maybe. Buffalo, Andre Reed. Not Andre Reed. Lee Evans, maybe? It is Lee Evans. In 2006, he had about 1,300 yards. Not bad. Arizona, 42%. And it's not David Boston. It's not Larry Fitzgerald. Who else would it be, man? Let's go to Green Bay. Sterling Sharp. In 1992. Indianapolis, Marvin Harrison. Atlanta, 40%. Julio Jones. Surprised he's not on here more, actually. Tampa Bay, Keyshawn Johnson. Calvin Johnson. That one makes sense with the Detroit Lions in 08. But really, not Keyshawn with Tampa Bay? Is it Joey Galloway? It is Joey Galloway. Atlanta, 40%. Andre Risen. No. Roddy White. There we go. In 2008, from the cannon arm of Matt Schaub. And we have Arizona again. It's going to be the same player. Don't tell me I'm going to blank on it, dude. I want to get perfect on my on one of my first quizzes back into doing these. I got perfect on the uh, like the impossible NFL quiz, if you want to check that out. But 
I don't know, it didn't take Largent as an answer. It, you, it was only if you typed Steve Largent. I'm like, how are you going to take last name some of the time, not all the time? Kind of annoying. Anyway, it counts. It counts. Pittsburgh. It's not Antonio Brown. It's not San Antonio Holmes. It's not high into work. It's got to be receiver in the 2000s. We can actually break this down. So there's one in the 80s. That's got to be Art Monk, 1984. There are eight in the 90s. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. It's a 90s receiver. The one from Arizona is a 90s receiver. With Arizona... Mm, I'm not going to come up with that. And the other one's got to be the Steelers, right? 10 to 18. 10 to 18. How many do we have of that? So one. That's Brandon Marshall. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh, Julio Jones. That's two. And then 11 is from 2000 to 09. So let's get that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ooh, what the hell? Did I miscount? It's possible I miscounted or counted something twice. So one of these players is absolutely in the 2000s, and the other one's in the 90s. So who would be in the 2000s for... Oh, Anquan Bolden! He's only one of them! No! <laughs> I'm very happy to get Anquan Bolden. I can't believe I blanked him. It's not Larry Fitzgerald. It's not David Boston. Who is it going to be? Pittsburgh. Who are you? It's got to be a wide receiver. There's no way it's going to be a tight end for either of these. It's just, it's way too many yards. I mean, we could try a tight end. But who would it even be for Arizona? And then the 2000s for Pittsburgh at tight end. Heath. I don't know, man. I, it wasn't going to be. It's got to be receiver. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh in the 90s. It's not Plaxico. Arizona's got... I don't. I don't, really don't even have a guess who that could be. If it's Steve Breston, I'm going to be pissed. It, like, it can't be Steve Breston. It, doesn't, it wouldn't make sense. He's not good. I'm just... I'm trying to check off all the boxes here. Who are these? Pittsburgh. Who are you? I'm surprised Randy Moss is not on here, by the way. Arizona. I don't, I, dude, If you, I know you guys are probably screaming at your laptop or monitor, phone or tablet, PC, whatever you're watching this on, probably screaming the answer, but this is tough for me. I have no idea. It's like, it's one of these is in the 2000s, one's in the 90s, Arizona in the 90s. I'm blanking, Pittsburgh in the 90s, I, I don't know. We're going to find out here in a minute, and the answer is... Oh, fuck that. Who cares? Yancey Thigpen? Who? Does anyone know Yancey Thigpen? Who is Yancey Thigpen, dude? And then Rob Moore with the Cardinals? Who cares? I have no idea. We got 91%. Way better than the average. Yancey Thigpen? Who is Yancey Thigpen? I need to spell it right because he's got a random E. We're number 82. He was a two-time Pro Bowler, two-time All-Pro. He has only a career of 5,000 yards. What a weird player. He's about to be 50 or just turned 49. So he had just like two years of sheer dominance with over 1,300 yards, almost 1,400 in 1997. But overall was like pretty bad. If injuries maybe got to him? Yancey Thigpen. Someone get Gut Fox on this video. Who in the hell is Yancey Dirk Thigpen? His middle name is Dirk? I am perplexed with this particular player. And then the other one is Rob Moore. Rob Moore is more gettable. Who's that one? What is it? I did ROB. I saw somebody wife. Who did I type for wife? There's Ronald Acuna on there. Um... <laughs> We don't have to go through any of those. Uh, Rob Moore. So, he barely comes up. Rob Moore. 
was not a bad receiver, you know? 1,000 yards here, 1,000 yards there. Almost 1,000 yards on three separate occasions, pretty much. It may, you could even call it four, where he was 100 yards off, like 87, you know, under 20. Nine, you know, 982, under 20, 907, under 100, 843. I mean, he had a decent career. Retired, you know, like after 10 years. I mean, he, he had a decent career. Almost 50 receiving touchdowns. Never had 10 in a year. But that's a crazy year. Decent player. Wasn't going to get him, though. Uh, that was a really fun quiz, actually. Yancey Thigpen, though. I'm, I'm not even mad that I missed that. 20 out of 22 is a pretty good score. I'm psyched I came up with Anquan Bolden. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.